Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this Vue.js video tutorial, we will see that how we can apply the form validation in the Vue.js. So these are the four simple steps to apply the validation. First of all, we will make a component and uh, import it in the app.view uh, file. Then we will uh, add some fields inside a form. Then I'm just going to make a function so that I can submit the form on this function. And here we will check the validation. And after that, we will add the error validation on a uh, HTML or you can see that in the DOM. And uh, after that, we will check it. So everything is simple. So now let's start. First of all, I am just going to make a component and uh, my component name can be login dot view and just make a simple template here. First of all, just take a div here and also just add a script tag in the script tag. Let's take the name of a component can be login perfect so here I am just going to make a form and I don't need a form action here so that I can just remove it I just need a submit uh, which actually call the function and the function name can be like uh, login or something whatever I just you just want to make all right after that let's take some field here Mm, let's take input field and just add a placeholder can be like enter name and add some br tag so that we can just maintain the space between the fields and just enter password and the type can also be password and let's take a button also and just write here login and button type can be can be can be submit right so now let's import this form inside the app dot file and just write here uh, import mm, login from path component and then login just register this component here as a login and then now just put this login component here like this all right so now let's check the output Here you can see that we have the two field but when I just click on it now you can see that this is getting refreshed so in a single page application this should not be happen all right so to stop this let's uh, I can just close the app dot uh, view file I don't need it and I can just hide the sidebar also so that we have the more space some to write the code and you can understand it easily in the white screen so now I am just going to add a method and uh, here just define the login function like this right and in this login function I am just going to write here uh, console dot log for a moment like uh, login function called or something all right and after that just simply write here we have to pass a uh, event here then just choose here event dot prevent dot default all right and now let's check again is it still refreshing when I just click on it uh, okay this is still refreshing let me check again yeah, because this is not prevent dot default this is the prevent default a complete a single function right try again yep now now you can see that this is the log and uh, the page is not getting refreshed that's great now let's uh, add take some properties to the get uh, write some properties I need to just define a uh, data function in the return just write it three property error can be a kind of a array okay then just add a colon then just use the name can be null as well password can also be null that's great now let's bind this field with uh, this name and the password so just simply write here we bind 
and uh, let's bind it with the name and let's copy it paste it with the second field and just right here we bind password all right so uh, now i in this function i am just going to apply the checking the validation so i am just going to check here if this dot name and this dot uh, password is set then uh, it will just call this console here like this right else what actually going on if uh, this is missed then this dot array will be a function Oh, oh sorry an empty array again and just right here if uh, this dot name is not set that means it's opposite then we can just simply write here this dot error dot push name is required all right and uh, we can do the same thing again like this with the parcel and here we can just put here password is required that's great so we put here field so now i am just going to console dot warn errors and let's check this dot error what we are getting here let's check out if i am not going to put anything then it will just give me the uh, errors array the two length with, uh, with the two you can say that uh, the two values with the name is required and the password is required if i just put some name then it just told me the mm, 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 mm. let me check it should not be like this mm. yeah actually that's my bad i just have to use p dot model v dot model and p dot model here right so now let's check once again uh, if i just check both then still give the error in the both and if i just write something ins that's inside the name then it just give me the one error and if i just put the value in the both then there is no error all right so we got the error message properly now we have to just show the validation here how we can show that for that let's come on the template part just write a p tag here and inside the p uh, we can check that uh, v if and here we will check that error dot length th then we have to just show a bold line and just we have to write here please correct the following errors like this and uh, then we can just uh, use a li and inside the li i am just going to make a for loop for the all the errors all right so just write here v4 and uh, here i am just going to write here e in error uh, and we can also use here uh, v bind and it will bind with the key like this and here we can just write here e dot id perfect and just simply write here uh, e right so now guys if you don't know about uh, how it's actually loop working then you can find the link in the description box i already make a video special for a for loop also right so if i'm just going to click here you can see that the name is required and password is required if i just entered the name here then it will just ask me for the password and if i uh, if i entered the password also like uh one two three then you can see that there is a no error and login function called successfully all right so now here we are able to call a api so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box please don't forget to subscribe my video uh, like my video and subscribe my channel bye bye take care